Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at your next serious relationship. We're going to look at their characteristics, what um, they may act like. Well, that's the same thing. Characteristics, their physical attributes, their possible zodiac sign, where they're going to be at in life, where you actually meet this individual, all that stuff. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, stick around. Also, if you do want a personal reading because this is general, please do not hang on to general information for dear life. Okay, some of you just need to get a personal. If you are confused, um, my information will be listed below. And my other channel will be in the comment section. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. So Pisces, what is their next serious relationship? What is the possible zodiac sign of the individual they may get into their next serious commitment with? So I have Cancer. So Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, this could be somebody who comes off very caring, uh, very charismatic, somebody who's very compassionate in a sense where they understand your emotions or understand people's emotions they're not somebody who's dismissive to your feelings uh this is going to be somebody also who tends to kind of be a little emotional but on the surface it may not show only when they feel like they almost can't control their emotions anymore is when you may able you may be able to see it so that could be in a good and a bad way Okay, everybody has their good and bad traits. We also have Virgo. So someone rising or Venus Virgo. Um, this could be somebody who definitely pays attention to details and little things that you may mention, do, change about yourself, like get your hair done and the person may notice it or most people may not. You know, it may take them a couple of hours to notice that you changed your hair. But this person pays attention to detail. This person does like to cook really care for their partner, things of that nature. We also have Pisces. So some of you, you are going to be super single. This could be you just focusing on yourself. Um, or love just hasn't come in yet, which is fine. I mean, that's okay. But um, it could also be another Pisces like yourself. This person could be spiritual in nature. Um, very intuitive in a certain sense. Also... Huh. They may go through this like escapist thing where whenever things get a little too hard for them or things are a little too much, this person will just try to flee mentally, whether that's like escaping through drugs or just escaping by acting as if it's not reality. We also have Scorpio. So someone rising or Venus Scorpio. Um, this could be somebody who comes off very domineering um this is somebody who has like a lot of i'm trying to find a pg-13 way of saying this this person may really like to engage in intimate time there you go and this is somebody who also likes to go out of their comfort zone try new things when it comes to uh you know intimate time but moving on from that i do have sagittarius and we also have libra so some rising or venus sagittarius somebody who's also a high achiever when it comes to what they expect from somebody when they're dating them um they want the person that they're dealing with to be trying to go somewhere in life just as much as they are uh this person also doesn't really like to commit unless it's somebody who they genuinely feel like is worth the commitment. So this is somebody who doesn't really commit a lot, hasn't been in a lot of relationships because they're very particular about who they get into a connection with. Um, and then Libra, somebody who's balanced, somebody who may look at both aspects of a situation they look at the good and the bad they look at your side their side they're not somebody who's just a one-sided type of individual okay but let's continue what else can i know about this individual that my pisces are going to be dealing with their next serious relationship give me some more intel on this individual Okay, so I have some cards that just dropped. So we have wavy hair. We have charming. 
We have clever. We have darker skin, brown slash colored skin. So they may be um, African-American or if they're not African-American, this may be somebody who just may have a darker skin complexion um, or just may have a tan or something. Uh, we also have curly hair, muscular slash buff. So if that's a man that we're talking about, they may be have more, they may have more of a build. We also have direct slash blunt. So yeah, this person keeps it super, super honest and real. Um, so expect that from this person. We also have caring and we also have introvert. So kind of going back to that cancer energy, this is definitely somebody who cares and does show it through their actions. And this is somebody who tends to kind of like to be to themselves for the most part, um, if they can, they prefer it that way. We pull three more. We have emotional. So like I said, they may wear their emotions on their sleeves sometimes. Only when they get really, really pushed to that point. We have light slash fair skin. So they can be really any skin tone. And we also have free thinking. So this is somebody who definitely thinks for themselves. Okay. Definitely thinks for themselves. So now that we kind of have an idea of what they kind of look like. And also some characteristics and ways that you can kind of point them out. Let's kind of do a tarot reading on them and kind of look more in depth. Okay. So we're going to use this tarot deck and see what comes out. So, oh, gee. It's always a struggle behind the scenes to kind of shuffle these cards, guys. Only if you guys knew. Oh. Okay. All right. So give me more information on my Pisces next serious relationship. Where is this individual going to be at in their life? Especially in their love life. Whereby Pisces come into their lives. Okay, so Page of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the Tower, the Devil. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about this. So, and sorry if I'm sniffling, guys. I just woke up. Um, continuing into the reading. Hmm. So, this individual, where they're going to be at in life when you come into their life? Well, for some of you, the main thing that I'm getting is this person. Whew. By the time you come into their life, they're basically going to be going through this process of trying to make things work with the person who they may have either a kid with or just a relationship with or an intermingling going on. Uh, I do feel like that connection they have with this individual is very up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, there may also be other people in the mix of this relationship and this person is going to be basically super exhausted when it comes to exerting energy into fixing this relationship. Um, this person is definitely going to be cheated on with the seven of swords and the three of pentacles right next to each other. I hate those two cards together. Um, and basically just trying to get past that, like getting past the whole, I got cheated on feeling. And this person, basically when they come into your life, they're going to be on the brink of letting go of a really, really nasty commitment, um, either on the brink of it or actually let go of it, but still affected by it emotionally. So for a lot of you, be careful of playing like the whole healer role into somebody else's life. Always give them a chance to kind of figure themselves out. But a lot of you may meet this individual, like I said, after They've gone through some really traumatic stuff in their love life as far as having a part partner who's cheated on them and just put them through an emotional roller coaster. 
So just be careful of just trying to get too invested too fast. Give this person a chance to kind of heal and figure out what exactly, you know, they needed to learn from that situation instead of just being in this energy of holding on to what happened to them. But dang. And then for some of you, it's not more of a situation where they got cheated on per se in their last situation. When they come into your life, this is going to be somebody who's going to be a little bit on the fence about whether or not they should start dating. They may have avoided dating for a while because, again, they had a tumultuous breakup at one point and they've been attaching themselves to the outcome so much that they've been unable to be happy. So this person's going to be in the process of like trying to put themselves back on the dating scene. Okay. But this is what I see. Thank you so much, Pisces, for watching this. I hope that you're able to take something from this reading. If you did, please make sure you thumbs this up and subscribe um, if you want a personal, because like I said, this is just general. If you take general super, super serious, I don't know what you're doing, okay? Generals are just for the general population, okay? Um, make sure you go book a reading, whether it's with me or somebody else. My information will be below if you want one. Um, my other channel will be below as well, and I will see you in the next one.